what is subsidized senior housing? I started working with assisted living locators and nationwide we help families to find the right assisted living home. But I learned that many people think that assisted living refers to subsidized housing. And that is uh, totally understandable. The definitions can be very confusing. If you don't know what assisted living is, then please watch my previous video with the title, What is an Assisted Living Facility? Uh, but many families do contact me and they ask me to help them find senior housing. And when I try to find out more details of their situation, basically they explain, oh, my parents are healthy, but if you could help us find one of those nice apartments for people who are struggling financially, who only have to pay about $200 a month. And I reply that I think you're talking about subsidized housing for senior citizens. Technically, I don't work in this field, but I do continue to get these calls and requests. Even many of my close friends still think that assisted living means subsidized housing, even though I explained it to them uh, many, many times. And so I'm making this video uh, to give a very clear answer to the simple question, what is subsidized senior housing? I live in the town of Paramus and uh, I'm very proud that our town takes care of veterans. This is a very unique subsidized housing in that there's a public sign and uh, it's built for veterans and it's a very nice set of townhomes and I'll give you a little bit better view of the um, townhomes here subsidized housing for veterans in Paramus, New Jersey. I'm in Fort Lee, New Jersey, and the tall building behind me uh, is a subsidized senior housing. Uh, I've been inside, and it's a very nice building on the inside and the outside. Uh, because we're close to New York City, the buildings do get taller and bigger, and that's uh, one very nice example of a subsidized senior housing here in Fort Lee, New Jersey. When I was in junior high school, I was um, physically assaulted by two young men uh, who punched me in the face repeatedly for no reason. Uh, it was in broad daylight in New York City. And later I realized I happened to be in front of the uh, public housing projects. Uh, over the years, I've been inside numerous Section 8 HUD public housing projects, delivering Christmas gifts to children for a program called Angel Tree. And I could tell you that uh, subsidized senior housing is very different from subsidized housing for the general public. Very different. Uh, many people use the term senior housing to refer to subsidized senior housing. And these uh, apartments and properties are usually very well kept, very clean, nice on the outside and inside, and very safe. Uh, they usually look just as nice as any other apartment or housing in the surrounding neighborhood. There's no stigma attached to it. Uh, subsidized senior housing is income-based affordable housing for people 65 and older or 62 and older. Uh, generally, you can apply at the age of 62. Uh, your rent is based on 30% of your adjusted gross income. If you have an income of $1,000, a month, then you'll be paying $300 a month for rent. Uh, the, there is an application to fill out for each building, and you need to provide your proof of income and residency. You need to be a citizen or green card holder. Uh, most of the applications are free. Some charge a nominal fee of $25 or $50. Uh, this is um, a nationwide resource called Seniors Blue Book. This one is for Bergen and Passaic counties in New Jersey. It says Directory uh, of Senior Housing and Resources. In this booklet, there is a section that, that is called Independent and Retirement Communities. Under that section, there is a list of HUD subsidized apartments. And in these two counties alone, there's over 40 of them listed. Uh, 
each specific property will accept people from the local uh, geographical area first and then move out to the larger county and the larger state and then further out. Uh, each housing building has its own uh, set of criteria. Some accept seniors only, some accept seniors and people with disabilities. Uh, most people will apply to one building according to their geographic location. If you're lucky, you'll wait only a few months. Some wait a few years and some wait over 10 years according to the building and neighborhood that they applied to. Uh, once you're accepted, you won't be pushed out. And uh, it's pretty amazing that in our country, we're still able to provide quality housing for senior citizens in need. But let me remind you, this uh, should only be used by people who really are in need and who would otherwise end up homeless. I will continue to um, put out a video every week. If this video was helpful, it would be great if you could press like. If you want to see future videos, please press, press subscribe, and you are more than welcome to share this video and leave comments below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.